Okay, so I think I'm getting closer to figuring out or deciding which one I want to believe. Uh, from my last video, if we are God, the, the active creators in our life, manifesting experience as we go through our thoughts, our internal you know, world, and reflecting that into the universe, versus there being a plan and us being a pawn in, in some sort of way uh, to the universe and and some higher power or so some higher plan for example i am definitely starting to believe that we are the active creators um that we are god and we are ourselves that we are the characters um that we are playing and we are the player playing the game if that makes sense so kind of like a video game which is actually really interesting because one of my sister's friends went for a party yesterday and she took a bunch of mushrooms <laughs> with all her friends and they, it was interesting, I've been thinking about this lately and she said, and she came and she told us about her experience and she was like, oh, I just felt like, I felt like I was in a video game, um, you know, meeting different characters and just, just kind of this feeling and I've had this, this, this thought or, you know, thinking this way for a long time that life is basically like, like a game of Sims or any, any video game basically. Um, that the, in some sense we are the character like in the game that is being that is that is actively navigating the world and talking to people and taking on quests and tasks and you know trying to survive and you know achieve and do all the things that we do in this human life uh but at the same time we are also the video game designer um and the and like the, the player you know with the control you know playing the character on the screen but instead of playing from a controller outside the screen as god as the creator we have created this world and are actively creating this world as we go um uh like a video game that's being designed you know simultaneously while it's being played um so that, yeah, it's not like this specifically set missions and things that you must do in order to kind of progress and complete this game. But you can choose, you know, where you want the game to go, where you want it to take you, what kind of adventures they're going to be, you know, uh, if you want it to be hard, if you want it to be easy, you know, if you, like, this, literally, infinity is the limit. <laughs> and, and yeah, and so what we've done is basically put ourselves, instead of playing, you know, outside the screen on a controller, we are we put ourselves into the into the game into the character and the way that we um obviously every day like we know that we are in control of our actions and our behaviors and what we you know what we say and what we do within the world um but we're also what i've learned is control of the opportunities that appear in front of us um because the way that the, the game is being designed as a game or the way that life is being designed is actively through our imagination and through our focus. Um, so, for example, I'll tell you, like, I I love using the word manifestation because I think it describes, you know, what's going on perfectly. Um, what, we, what we think about, what we actively think about and focus on, where focus goes, energy flows. I don't know if you've heard that saying before, but it's so true. I have been wanting to I've been wanting to manifest uh, being here in Costa Rica um, house sitting and dog sitting opportunities and and so my focus in my mind has been uh, I know that that's what I want but I also very much believe that it's possible I believe there are so many people out here that want their dogs looked after that there's going to be loads of people going away and don't want to leave their house empty you know potentially to get robbed or burgled and they're willing to pay people very good money um in order to stay in their places and have you know have their dogs and i get to play with their dogs and do some training and stay in their places not only for free but going to get paid also to do it um which is awesome and i 100 percent believe that those are the opportunities out there now the difference and and so what's happened is i, I was saying this to, I, I 
I decided that's what I wanted like three, four days ago. I said this to my friend two days ago. I was like, I'm, I'm manifesting um, some housing, you know, some housing jobs. Um, I have some places for us to stay. Um, two days later, uh, well, I told my sister, I was like, I want to do some more um, housing, dog training. She made me a little poster uh, to kind of like put online or some of the groups. And she didn't post it, but uh, literally just yesterday or two days ago, I was like, oh, hey, do you mind just sticking that, that thing on the... Um, uh, the local group chats and within five minutes of it being put you know of her putting it out there one of my sister's friends contacted her saying oh I'm actually going away um, to come on she's going somewhere in the states uh, for like for like six days and and it's last minute and I really need someone to be able to you know take care of my place and my dogs you know if, you, if your brother's free uh, that'd be amazing and it's uncanny just how quickly it happened how quickly it was manifested into reality because I believed fully with my heart and my mind that the opportunities are there available to me now. Now, the difference between, well, there's one, there's one example. Number two, here's the second example. I've been, so I had this other, I made this other video, I don't know if you've seen it, um, about this girl that I was, you know, was and really am into. Um, I can't get out of my head, but that's another story. <laughs> um, and uh things kind of went south you know with, with her and, and you know didn't it didn't lead anywhere we were just hanging out for a few days days nothing no kiss nothing happened um and i was thinking to myself like why why did this happen why did i why did it get shut down i think she's seeing some other guy now and i realized it's because internally i didn't believe that she wanted me that she wanted to kiss me that she wanted any you know anything like that with me um, I was approaching the situation from a, like a French friend zone perspective. Therefore I manifested a friend zone response from this girl. Um, and so after this, this all happened, I was like, man, like, I don't want to keep friend zoning myself <laughs> by approaching girls in this way. So, so the next day on that, for example, on that last video I made, uh, I saw this girl walking past on the beach. Uh, and I thought, right, like my approach needs to change, the way I view situations and goes needs to change. So instead of thinking, uh, instead of being so passive about it and, and waiting for them to kind of come to me, being like, I want this girl to like me. I want this girl uh, to go on a date with me. I want this girl, I want to kiss this girl. I want things to happen, you know, I want to have some fun. Um, and so, and I, and I told myself, I guess it really helps having that belief system of being the active creator because I know that if I decide that it is true in my reality, then I can just step into it and approach it that way and I will get that response from the girl, which is exactly what happened. Um, she was walking down the beach, came back the other way. Um, I caught up with her and, you know, I was like, hey, how's it going? Started having a chat, asked her on a date and boom, like that, the next day we're hanging out, kissing, you know, everything that I wanted with this other girl but I just didn't believe you know, enough was, was going to happen. Um, you know, I doubted it. I doubted that, you know, that whole situation before and just through having that shift in perspective and outlook from doubt to, to pure belief that if I decide it is, then it is, and it is. <laughs> and so it's happened, for example, with the, with the house sitting, um, with this girl, I also moving here, I'm, um, Trying to, manifest, trying to manifest, I am manifesting um, mus mus musical opportunities to play guitar and to sing. And so uh, I've, by having that focus in my mind, that there are loads of musical opportunities out here, you know, for me to play at different events, you know, dinners at the bars, maybe private stuff, like who knows, work with some of the bands. Um, that I that that opportunity is popping up. My sister's invite me invited me to come and play at one of her dinners tomorrow night. Uh, there's I was down playing on the beach the other day, and some woman who was doing photography for the surfers, you know, sat next to me and she was like, "Wow, you know, you're really good. Uh, she made me feel great." She was like, "You know, I'd love to come and maybe, you know, make some videos sometime. Uh, you know, of, of, of what you do and maybe put it out there, help you get some other work." Um, I keep bumping into people, kept telling me, you know, they were like, "Oh, send me your details, send me some videos." Um, you know, because we do we do gigs and other stuff, and we like to see some stuff, and we can play, and you know, so that all synced up with me and this woman who offered to come and make videos that could be sent to other people to play, 
And it's just so clear to see that once you, once you decide and accept that reality is the way you want it to be, it will respond in the way that you want it to respond. Uh, I'm okay, I'm okay. Is it mine? No, maybe. Um, so my sister's asking if I want water. Um, and it's amazing, it's amazing. And I'm, I'm definitely feeling now like that, that I enjoy being the active creator, that I get to design my life step by step. You know, um, if there's things that I like, I can keep them going. I can expand them. I can make them greater. If there's things that I manifest that I don't enjoy, I can ask myself, what did I not like about this? What do I want to be different and focus on and, and know that the opportunities for the things that I want are out there instead and that they will appear to me and that I can just step into them and it can happen. And it's incredible. It's, it's, it's life-changing. Just having this shift in perspective that we are in complete, complete control of the reality that we manifest. Um, because we are actively manifesting. We are actively creating it through our thoughts and, and our focus and what we project into the world. They say that the reality you experience is simply a reflection of your internal state of mind. So... If you're not happy with the way that your life is going, you know, your current situation, your circumstances, the most important question is to ask yourself, what is, what is my internal state? What am, I, what am I thinking about around the situation? What are my doubts? What are my fears? What are my worries? What are my concerns that are causing the things in my life to take place? You know, the... the, 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 the causing the, you know, in the, the, the unideal circumstances to remain in my life. Um, because that's it. If, I suppose it's that, but it's, there's also a component to it where I've realized that I think deep down, we always have an idea of, of what we best want um, and what is, what's going to make us most happy in our lives. So I'm making a video. Um, and knowing, and knowing, um, knowing that the universe is always trying to provide the best opportunities for us. That's fine. You can come up. Yeah, yeah, that's no, sweet. Um, it's just like a log journal log thing. Um, that that we can let go and kind of go with that flow a lot easier. Um, but what's important to recognize and to know is that the universe assists us. Uh, it'll start off gently. It'll, it'll give us subtle signs or kind of little pokes and be like, you know, hey, listen here, here's the opportunity that you've been, you know, you've been wanting. And it's up to us to, to let go. We gotta let go of the old and embrace the new. And that's one thing so many people have struggled with when they're trying to change their life, you know, their reality, to shift into a new reality, is the fear of the unknown. You know, they think that if they let go of what they have, they might get something worse. In any case, any case that the worst things come is if you hold on to the stuff you're not enjoying. And what happens is then, because the universe knows that you want better, knows you want something different, it'll actively make your situations worse and cause you more pain to try and make it more and more uncomfortable for you so that eventually you're like, ah, I've got to move. Like, I have to move it. Like, it hurts too bad to stay in the situation. You know, the people, you know, my boss is too much, like, being an asshole to me. Um, my, whatever, like, I keep hurting myself physically in certain circumstances. So I need to move away from the things that are hurting me. You know, take some time out, do something different. Um, you know, doing X, Y, Z is causing me loads of stress and, and worry. So... We need to stop doing those things and let go. And as soon as we, as soon as we, we let go of those things that are causing us pain, um, 
and just and we're open to 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 new to change to the uncertain it's it's that's that's when we allow ourselves to shift into a new reality but we we have to recognize that because it's new because we've never experienced it before it's going to feel uncomfortable there's going to be an element of you know of of fear like with inside yourself that we need to learn how to move past um because change and new things like always scary like there's always you know um it's always gonna be that bit of worry of like you know what if things go wrong um but the universe is good like it is not just good it is great it loves you you know it's it's the most magical once you see it and like you experience it and you and you once you get it like <laughs> it's crazy it's crazy good this life um it's working for you all the time 24 7 trying to give you the best possible life all you have to do is let go of the old things you don't like and know and believe that the universe is providing better opportunities for you um and work with it like you don't have to rush into stuff like take time um but it's important to know like say to take those times to reflect and be like what do i not like in my life right now what am i not enjoying how would i want it to be different and if life could be perfect what exactly would it look like where would i be living who would i be spending my time with what kind of conversations would i be having what would i be doing on a day-to-day -day basis and once you get real clear on exactly what you want the universe is going to start trying to move and you hold on to it and you believe that it is out there and you, and you believe that that reality exists on some other sort of parallel dimension um it may sound crazy but it's very very true um that you can move into it so easy and so fast like so fast it's 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 ridiculous if you want more money in your life if you want like i say different work opportunities you know, new adventures, um, to meet new people, uh, literally infinity is a limit, whatever you can think of, whatever you can dream of, it can be your reality, um, but we gotta know what we want, we have to know and believe fully with our whole heart that that reality is just the other side, just out, just the other side of our, stepping outside our comfort zone. Um, and be willing to let go of the old situation we're in in order to move into the new one um, notice the signs the synchronicities and follow the pushes and pulls of the universe when it feels good to you it's, be it's because it's in line with the things that you want uh, when it feels bad and there's things causing you pain it's out of alignment with what you want and I don't, you know it's crazy that I think, oh, it just blows my mind how so many people, myself included, so many gods, uh, have been conditioned to believe that, they, in some sense, life has to be hard. We have to work hard for our living or to support ourselves. That life is difficult, that, you know, bad things happen to good people. Um, they don't. Bad things happen to people who believe bad things will happen to them. Um, you know, if you believe only good things happen to you, only good things happen to you. Um, if, like, it's, it's just thought, your reality, your experience is just your thoughts manifested in physical form. Um, and it's a process. Like, you know, if you might be watching this video right now and thinking, well, I wish I could kick my fingers and just be shift myself into a rally, reality that I want to be in right now but it's not that easy, like I remember my process over the last few years of trying to manifest of trying to shift into new realities um, and and knowing that there was, there was a way I could do it with a lot of hard work and effort like if you force your, you know, your surroundings you can make anything happen as well but it's not enjoyable 
to have to work super hard and to be super stressed and to force things into a certain way that they don't want to fit. What is enjoyable is to work with the universe, with your higher self as God, you know, character and God, which you are, um, to let it flow and to literally, like it's fucking magic, dude. Like, just to, to just to allow it to just come into your life when you when it starts happening to you and you get it, it's 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 madness. It's madness. It's beautiful. And what a world we live in, you know. Um. I, yeah, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. So I'm gonna start doing, I don't know, I said in my last video, I haven't done it yet, but I'm definitely gonna sit down and think, you know, think or maybe design a lot more of my life or experiences I wanna have. I want some new ideas. I need to expand my imagination for some new opportunities and adventures. Um, I know I like the, you know, the house scene and the dog scene and playing music, but uh, yeah, I want more excitement, more adventure. And so I need, I think I need, need a little bit of creative input from somewhere to think of some new things. So I'm still gonna do that kind of design session and I guess I'll record that and put it on there. But for the meantime, I also really wanna help other people to realize what we are, who we are, you know, realize our true nature as God beings as God and as the character you're playing, as the universe and as the character you're playing, as source energy and the character you're playing. Like whatever you want to call that thing, um, I just call it God, because a lot of the world is a God, religion is um, But you can call it, you can call anything, like whatever feels most comfortable to you. Um, it all means exactly the same thing. It's that, there's no words for it, but once you get it, like you know. And I want to help people to you first of all maybe you're not maybe not necessarily going to believe it straight away but to entertain the idea that that is what you are that is your true nature the i am god the universe in human form in your own unique form just playing you know this weird game of life that we're playing actively manifesting and creating um our focuses you know into the world to grab them as experience and to start with it seems like you know i guess maybe that's part of the process of, of expanding our consciousness that we start off very unconscious and very unaware and just very susceptible to the mechanism like we just kind of go in going with not it's not really the flow but just um what we think the world is and the way like it has to be like it's just kind of like survival mode we're almost robotic in a way and as our awareness and our consciousness expands to understand more of our true nature what we really are and what life really is um we start to shift into higher vibrations higher dimensions of being um able to manipulate in, in a beautiful way, not in a, not in like, sometimes that word manipulate sounds dirty, but to, to, yeah, to, to manipulate, to shift the realities and the experience into whatever we desire it to be. Um, because once you do, like, it's a beautiful life, it can be a beautiful life. And I know how much pain I was in before, once I recognized the, the programs and the conditioning that was all on top of me, that I was having to try and break free of. Um, like it was a painful, painful, painful process. Um, and I didn't have loads of people around me necessarily who like realized themselves as God, as the universe, you know, as active manifestors of their reality. Um, I just figured out on my own or just, you know, reading books and spiritual texts and, you know, vid you know videos, um, seeking out gurus from different religions and philosophers um, it's a long, painful process. And if I can be of service to other people to help them realize our true, you know, our true nature as God beings, um, and to help them learn how to 
how to use their powers, how to use their focus, how to just accept like our, our true nature as active creators of reality to design and to manifest the most beautiful experiences of life that you could possibly imagine. The greatest adventures, the most deepest love connections, the just everything, like your wildest dreams, better than your wildest dreams. Then I like I want to help you. So I haven't set anything up right now, but please, if you're watching this and you want help, you want like everything I've been talking about, drop a message in the comments. Say, I'm in. Help me, Elliot, bro. Um, let's work together. Like if I can help you, that would make that would make me so happy. Like Mudita. I don't know if I said told you what my duty means. It's my new tattoo. The joy and happiness that we feel when other people are happy. Um, I want to see. I want to see people smiling and, and as big as I'm smiling, and their eyes as bright as my eyes are, because because they're in the same positions they, that I found myself in. That we can finally get there. I want to help you get there. I want to be a part of that process, and I want to know. It's like selfish too. Like I want to know that I was, you know, I was there to help you. Um, that's gonna feel really, really good for me. Um, so yeah, like the video, drop some job, just drop, write me a message. I'm a really nice dude. Um, and while I have this, all this time here in Costa Rica, while I'm just hanging out, looking after dogs, playing a bit of music, I got all the time in the world to help as many people as I possibly can. Um, once this starts getting bigger and blown up, the opportunities aren't gonna be, it's gonna be tougher. It's gonna be tougher to get my time and my attention. Um, especially like one-on-one. -on -one. So please do it now. Like right now. Write your message in the comments and say, Elliot, help me. I will respond to you. We'll swap contact information. We'll get on a call, um, FaceTime or something. We'll talk through your situation. I, I want to help you learn. I want to help you grow. I want to help you just, just live the most beautiful life you could possibly imagine. Bigger than you can imagine. Infinity is the limit. If you haven't done it, do it. I'm leaving now. I'm going for some dinner. You got this. We can do it. All right.